Now, you've collaborated with uh, the legendary Tim Burton on multiple occasions. What is the collaboration process like with Tim Burton? It's collaborating between a screenwriter and a director is different every time. And sometimes mm -hmm. it's a really close bond and I'm there every moment. So like for Go, I was there for every frame we shot. You know, I was in the editing room a lot. I was there for the whole thing. With Tim, it's not that. I'm With Tim, I'm very much like a department head. And my department is story. And so I'm the person who's coming up with a script, delivering the script, and then I largely go away. I'll be there through pre-production, through table read. I'm there to help for anything that needs help. But like during production, I have no function in it. I'll see early cuts. I can give notes on that. I can give feedback, but uh, it's that's just not how we work. He treats, you know, all his department heads really, really well. And so Colleen Atwood, you know, sees his vision, delivers costumes that will suit what he needs to do. The cinematographers do the same thing, but um, I'm I'm a different department head uh, for Tim Burton movies. Do you actually do, do like when you're actually collaborating with him with stories? Do you just he's just like here's this here's the book get me something or does he to give you notes goes back and forth it's more the former so we, which is unlike most directors but it's really just this is the overall vision give me something that matches the vision so charlie and chocolate factory is a good example of that he w had signed on to direct it um it was really starting from zero on a script and we could talk he could say like i want everything from the book and as much else as you need to make sense and I could approach it then from my whole memory of how much I loved that book and sort of what was special to me about that book mm -hmm. and then write it really anticipating the things that he would love. And so, you know, Walker's father being a dentist and the orthodontic headgear and like just the moments I knew that Tim Burton could knock out of the park. Um, but there were probably less than an hour's conversation during the whole process of just like, this like what movie are we making? It was very clear that like, you know, I'm writing a script and Tim's making a movie and it'll it'll work. And and that's a very a unique scenario. Normally directors are really up all inside your business, Absolutely. as they say. Yeah, <laughs> normally you're really sort of grappling over every scene and every every beat. And that's not Tim's basic um, way of doing things. His, you know, a thing I've really learned from him is that uh, he prepares meticulously, and so he has big notebooks of how he's gonna do every scene, and he's sketching and he's painting, and he's figuring out what it is, but he's figuring out how to make the movie inside his head, and he doesn't, um, he doesn't necessarily need to work with me as a writer in terms of doing that. He's, he's, he's trusting me to sort of like provide the words, and he's gonna provide you know, all the other things it takes to make a movie. I mean, you wrote one of my favorite Tim Burton movies ever, Big Fish which I Thank think you. it was it was such a brilliant, brilliant movie and and very Tim Burton-y, but not in the same sense. Does that make sense? It does. Well, and that was a script that I'd written before Tim had signed on. So I just read I read a book that I loved very much. I convinced the studio to buy me the book. And uh, I wrote it without any directors on board, without any producers on board. I just wrote the movie I, I wish I could see. Um, originally, Steven Spielberg had signed on to direct it. He was on for about a year. It never really happened. Um, and then when he dropped off, Tim signed on. And uh, so we didn't have a lot of conversation about, you know, the story, the movie, or sort of what individual things meant to him. He just he wanted to direct that script. And so the only things I changed once Tim signed on board were really for budget and schedule things, just like things that were in the script that just we just couldn't make. And so then we discussed how we were going to do that. But it wasn't a, you know, you think that there's going to be these, you know, 12-hour sessions where we're going to really just mull over everything, and that's just not Tim's way.